Okay, I'm going to do a test on three different small game broadheads, I guess you call them. Uh, the first one is a 100 grain Zwicky, the original judo tip. Uh, been shooting these for a long time. They seem to work really well. The little arms grab the grass and dirt and flip the arrow up so they don't bury under the grass and get lost. Next one is just a Saunders 100 grain, sorry about that, rubber bludgeon tip, a screw in bludgeon tip, not the type that slide over the arrow, but the actual screw in ones. The third one is the G5 small game head, SGH. Uh, it's a stainless steel. Um, as you can see, it's got the arms more for ripping action than I believe. I'm sure they help catch it in the grass and stuff. Um, I don't, negative on these, I've heard, is that those arms can break off if they hit a rock or something like that. Haven't shot these yet. Don't know how they fly. Um, we'll see. I'm shooting a Hoyt Vector Turbo. Um, with this arrow set up with a field point, it shoots... Uh, about 310 feet per second through a chronograph. Um, uh, it's set at 73 pounds. We're going to be shooting it tw from 20 yards at these three, sorry about the background noise, these three zucchinis. Kind of some zucchinis that my son grew. They got a little big. So as you can see, they're probably about, oh, about a foot high each. I figure that's a good, uh, ground squirrel test right there so I'm gonna set the camera up and take a few shots and hopefully I hit him in this wind <laughs> 20 yards okay so that was the second attempt with the Zwicky judo point I just wanted to get one where I'd center punch it um, got that one. I have to look back at the video which way this is a facing. I think that's the exit wound entry. Blasted right through it. Um. So that was the um, Saunders screw-in 100 grain bludgeon tip. As you can see, pretty good. Blew that zucchini in half. So that was the G5 small game head, 100 grain. So that's the back side. That's the entry there. Uh, just blasted right through it. Nicely. Took some pretty good chunks out with it. Um, yeah, so. And the target pretty good, about the same as all of them. They all stopped into the block pretty good, pull real easy out of it. Uh, probably not the best thing, probably damages the target pretty good, but not too bad. It is okay if I didn't it. Tip's fine as you would expect going into a block, but. Is it okay? Is it okay? Yeah. I think it's dead. What is dead? The zucchini. I'll go, I'll go get another one. All right. Okay, so I just um, did the zucchini test uh, with the target behind them. Uh, all of them held up real well, shot really good. Um, now I'm going to shoot them to see uh, how they skip or drag in the dirt or stick into the ground or whatever. Because um, that's important when you're hunting. Out here we shoot ground squirrels quite a bit. Um, usually it's in dry dirt, maybe off a log, maybe in rocky stuff. Uh, this right here, this dirt has, as you can see, bits of rock in it. It's just kind of a, 
kind of a broken up clay type dirt. I'm going to shoot at these on the ground um, and see how far they go. Hopefully not very far. Hopefully they're recoverable. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's some gopher holes and stuff behind this stuff, and then a little driveway, and then out behind those trees is an empty farm field. So we should be good and safe no matter what here, but we'll give it a try and see what happens. <laughs> okay, so that first shot was the judo tip, second shot was the bludgeon, third shot was the G5 small game head. Uh, since it's right here, we'll check out this small game head. Um, it just punched through into the ground and, and stopped right away. That's pretty awesome. Uh, it looks like it's in fine shape, just hitting into this dirt with little bits of rocks. Uh, may, eh, yeah, no, it looks fine. So 30 Sorry yards from where the target was. Uh, 40 yards from where I shot from. I only shot at 10 yards on those ones. So there's the bludgeon tip. Looks fine. All the little rubber points are still intact on it. Yeah, looks good. Blew the crap out of that zucchini too. So here's the judo tip. Um, 40 yards from where the target was. 50 yards from where I shot from. Um, it did skip up in the air. It jumped pretty good. Um, bounced a couple times and then it and made it through this uh, fence and evergreens or whatever. Um, yeah, let's see that head jack. Looks like it's fine. Not dented. All the little wire snags are, are all on there. So, a little bit farther than I would have expected though. So, in conclusion, um, out of the uh, the three tips here, small game tips, um, I was most impressed by that bludgeon. Uh, I know zucchinis are are different than a a little varmint, but it it smacked them really good. Flew really well. Um, it did skip a tiny bit, but not that much. Um, held up real well, and they're cheap. Um, they come in four packs, I believe for like. 13 14 dollars off Amazon the G5 uh, did seem to fly good um, it cut a lot probably if you were I don't know uh, it cut good it dug in really well on that one skip shot uh, still I'm a little scared of how those blades would hold up against if you hit a big rock uh, or something like that and they're pretty pricey three pack for $25 I believe and that was off Amazon so that's a fairly good deal I think but yeah so then the judo tips the Zwickies 100 grain two for ten bucks at my local archery shop um, they last forever they do eventually um, dig in and, and uh, pop up uh, they don't dig under the grass so they are usually pretty easy to find uh, like I've said, they're a little bit rough pulling out of the ground squirrels around here in California. So, but they do the job and fairly inexpensive. But I think I'm probably gonna have to try these bludgeons for a while and, and see how I like them. Uh, once again, all shot from the Vector Turbo, 73 pounds, um, 30 inch draw length, Gold Tip Hunter XT Hunters. Um, yeah, the uh, first zucchini shot's 20 yards, the skip shots were from 10 yards, so that's kind of a steep angle too, but oh well. Uh, thanks for watching, um, hopefully uh, this is helpful.